Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very glad you're here. If you're new to the channel, welcome for the first time. My name's Pierce and we talk about spiritual, mental, emotional development as it relates to you developing a better life. And if you've seen my videos, welcome back. Appreciate you. So today's topic is how to feel better. Understanding the emotional scale. And really, we're going to start with what's called the map of consciousness. So I've mentioned this a few times in my videos. Uh, but again, if you're new, of course, you have no idea what I'm talking about. So there's a book I recommend you read. Whether you have read it or not, reread it if you already have. And if you have not, highly recommend it. And it's called Power Versus Force by Dr. David R. Hawkins. Essentially, he puts a numerical scale on the map of consciousness. And the map of consciousness is also the, what I like to call a map of emotions or emotional scale. So it's from zero to a thousand, the lowest, absolute lowest emotion that we can feel as humans is shame, vibrating at a frequency of 20, 20 hertz. The next above that is guilt, when you feel guilty. And it continues to go from shame to guilt all the way up the emotional scale to where we eventually, it's uh, I believe like anger and pride, acceptance, neutrality, uh, and then it starts to go into joy and love, eventually into enlightenment, all the way up to a scale of a thousand where you know Jesus, Buddha, the enlightened masters, the ascended masters vibrate out. So why is this important? So if you want to feel better in your life and why it's in feel better important, uh, or important, it's important for you to feel better in your life on a consistent basis is a few different reasons. First of all, nobody wants to feel crappy, so that's pretty simple. So if you're watching this, you probably don't feel that good, uh, or maybe you just wanna learn the information for when you are having an off day, or even if you're not having an off day, how to maintain more positive, high vibrational days and why that's important. So as we talk about the map of consciousness and how these numbers and numerical scale vibrate with different emotions that we feel as human beings, here's why it's important. So each emotion vibrates at a different frequency or a vibration. If your frequency dictates what you frequently see, and you may or may not have heard that before, but your frequency dictates what you frequently see. So if you frequently see a lot of grief and sadness and drama and anger and poverty in your life, you're consistently vibrating at a relatively low vibrational level. And so it's important, one, you'll feel better when you start learning how to, uh, when you understand and learn how to shift into higher vibrational states and frequencies, you'll one, feel better, but you'll also start attracting better circumstances into your life, uh, more moments of joy and connection and love and friendship and all these things that we so greatly desire to experience as human beings. So if you have a uh, tough circumstance in your life or consistently bad circumstances in your life, it's because you are consistently vibrating at a low vibration. And so we wanna talk about today how to raise your vibration, raise your frequency, and how to just feel better. Because again, nobody wants to feel like crap. We as human beings, we either run towards pleasure or avoid pain, and that's really how we operate on the most base mechanism. So if your frequency dictates what you frequently see, then it would make sense that you would want to vibrate as high as you can, as often as you can, on that emotional scale. This is what, again, is the map of consciousness. David R. Hawkins, Power Versus Force, recommend you look into that book. Or you can just look in the scale, too. Uh, again, soon enough, I'll be in my apartment. I'll be able to edit these videos and I'll be able to do like a little pop-up and show you like, hey, here's the scale that I'm talking about. So this is also a teaching of Abraham Hicks. <clears throat> um, recommend you look into uh, Esther Hicks material or Abraham Hicks material if you're not familiar with it. Um, pretty powerful. So why is this important? One, we just want to feel better. How do we do it? <clears throat> well, again, let's talk about why it's important again. So if you want to create a better life for yourself, better circumstances in any area of your life, but you're consistently vibrating at a low vibration or a low frequency, you're only going to continue to attract the same circumstances, situations, people, relationships, opportunities that are going to keep you at that low vibratory state. So therefore, even though you want a better life, you don't attract what you want, you attract who you are, i.e. your vibration, your frequency, doesn't matter what you want, doesn't matter how badly you want something, 
your vibration is low, you're only gonna attract low vibrational stuff and junk to keep you at that low vibrational state. So we want to learn how to first understand this emotional scale and law of or, uh, vibration and frequency uh, so that we can consistently reach for higher and higher states of consciousness, uh, levels of awareness, emotional uh, and mental positive states so we can attract better circumstances into our physical reality and attract better circumstances, i.e. creating a better life for ourselves. So how do we shift? So what Abraham Hicks teaches uh, and what we're going to talk about today is just reaching for something slightly higher than where you're currently at and doing it on a consistent level. So what does this look like? You're having a really bad day. You're really down. You're really depressed. You're, you're at that 20 to 30 uh, hertz level, which is literally barely above human, quite literally. 20 to 30 per, uh, hertz is like literally the lowest human emotion you can feel, shame and guilt. So if you're having that, and we've all been there before, it may be, or it's not really feasible and doesn't feel right, it feels inauthentic, to be like, well, I'm feeling so shameful and guilty, I'm just gonna feel really happy and all this love in my life. You might, and if you make that jump, that's great. Maybe you have a little pet and you're like, you go and hang out with your pet and you really do shift, and that helps a lot. But what I would suggest is just reach for something slightly higher than where you're currently at. So if you're feeling shame and guilt on that very low level, it feels inauthentic to just be neutral or prideful or feeling joy and love, certainly in connection. You're like, that's stupid. That's crazy. The energy, the gap is just too large. So what Abraham Hitz suggests and what I am talking about today is that just reach for something a little bit higher and do this consistently over time. You're going to consistently vibrate at a little bit of a higher level to where you will solidify a new state of being to where your natural disposition will be a higher vibration than what you're currently used to. So if you're feeling shame and guilt, again, using that example at the very bottom of the scale, uh, an anger or uh, an emotion that you may want to reach for is actually anger. Now, it sounds stupid. Why would you rather, well, wouldn't you rather be angry than be feeling like crap and worthless and guilty and ashamed? You would rather at least feel guilty or you would rather at least feel angry. You would rather at least feel anger because at least anger can spring you into action because when you feel shameful and you feel guilty, you feel worthless. You don't feel like doing anything. You just want to die. You're like, oh, this is terrible. It's a terrible feeling. So if you just literally try to think of that situation that's making you feel ashamed or guilty and can at least reach for anger, well, you've moved at least a little bit up on the emotional scale. And although it sounds kind of silly, well, you can't really get to joy and love from shame and guilt. So at least you can get to anger and that anger will at least make you pissed off and go, oh, and that's good. That's great because now you're out of apathy. Now you're out of grief. Now you're out of feeling nothing. You're at least feeling something. That anger, what do you want to do when you're angry? You want to hit something. You want to yell uh, at something. Or, uh, you want to do something. But anger will at least spring you into action. So it doesn't necessarily mean you have to go and act on the anger. You can, and I suggest it in a healthy way, of course, not directing it at any people or situations or animals or anything you're gonna hurt anybody, but uh, express that anger, but at least you're sprung into action. My point is you're moving up the vibratory scale. Once you're sitting at anger and you're pissed off long enough, well now maybe you can at least reach for acceptance. Okay, I'm pissed off and you can at least accept it. And then maybe neutrality and pride, or, uh, pride, I believe it is. So at least from anger, it's a pride. And then neutrality, and you can just at least, at least get back to equilibrium. And at least maybe you're not consistently, you're fluctuating back between shame and guilt, but you can get to anger. Well, then over time, maybe you can get from anger to neutrality and pride. Okay, well, now you're, anger and, uh, you're angry, and you might be angry a lot more, but at least you're not down on the shame and the guilt anymore. And from neutrality and pride and anger, you can kind of move up into courage. You can move up to, from courage consistently. Now you can feel more joy. Now you can feel more joy consistently. You can consistently move up to love. So you just want to reach for something a little bit higher. And this is how we get ourselves to feel better. Understand where you're currently at on the map of consciousness, on the emotional scale, and reach for a slightly higher feeling just to feel a little bit better. And if you consistently over time, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, six Six, uh, six months a year, consistently practice how to raise your vibration and get on a higher level, 
eventually you will solidify a higher state of being in a higher state of consciousness, a higher level of emotional feeling. You're going to feel better more consistently for a longer period of time and you will begin to attract more desirable circumstances in your outer reality because of course your outer reality, as you know, is just a reflection of your inner state. So if your inner state is crappy all the time, you're only attracting more crappy circumstances in your external world because it's mirroring your internal state. So this is why we want to shift our internal state into a higher vibratory uh, state of being into joy, into gratitude, into love, into connection. That's where we're going. Just reach for a slightly better feeling. Do this consistently over a time and you become and shift into a higher vibe or a higher vibration and frequency. As you do this, you eventually simply resonate at a higher vibration, which attracts more of what you want and deflects nothing of what you do. Because again, your outer world is a reflection of your inner real, uh, your inner state. And if you can raise your inner state and be in a good inner state, all of a sudden your external circumstances, they start to materialize and change because we're creating from energy, not from matter. What supports this? There are universal laws or laws of nature or the seven spiritual laws of success. I actually don't know if these are some of the universal spiritual laws of success in Deepak Chopra's book. That's a great book too that I recommend you read. Deepak Chopra, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. Actually, need, I'm due for another read on that myself. But nonetheless, these are natural laws in the universe, much like gravity and undeniable truths. The law of vibration. The law of vibration is states that everything is in a constant state of movement. So the law of vibration, even the tree and the concrete and the pavement you're staring at, those are actually particles that are vibrating on a subatomic level. These are atoms, they're protons, neutrons, electrons, and even though it looks solid, it is an illusion. It's simply energy vibrating at such a way that makes it look solid so that you step on it, you're not stepping through it, uh, but it is electrons, it is, this is quantum physics, quantum mechanics, everything is energy. That's where that saying comes from because it is indeed the truth. So the law of vibration, everything is in motion, because everything is energy. So whether we see it or not, everything is always in motion. Why does that matter? Well, it goes along with the law of resonance. So the law of resonance states the frequency of your thoughts, emotions, and experiences will attract similar things in the outside world vibrating at the same frequency. Exactly what we talked about in the beginning and why it's important to feel better on a consistent basis and the tools that I'll give you and I'll talk to about you tangibly is some of those things as well. You want to focus on feeling better and understanding the emotional scale, the map of consciousness, raise your vibration because if you want your life to improve, well, we want to feel better on the inside because again, the outer world will match our inner state, i.e. or via the law of vibration and the law of resonance. So resonance, when you're vibrating at a higher level via the law of vibration, the law of resonance will attract more desirable, higher vibrational experiences, people, connections, opportunities, situations, etc. Shifting. What does that mean? It just means shifting from a lower vibrational state to a higher vibrational state or from a higher to a lower. But again, we're not focusing on that because that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to go from down here to up here, going higher and higher, higher, baby. So shifting into a higher vibe and a frequency. When you're shifting into a higher vibe and a frequency, you are resonating at a higher vibration. When you're resonating at a higher vibration, you're attracting more of what you want and you're deflecting away more of what you don't want because you're vibrating at a higher level. Um, I don't know, wh I remember I made this example up a while back, but it always comes up so when you think about a think about a Coke can, an empty Coke can, think about an empty Coke can that's full of mud. Okay, so it's got mud, or it's not full of mud. It's got mud caked on the outside. It's an aluminum can. It's got thick, sticky mud on the outside of it. That's dirty, nasty mud on the outside. But that can is just standing still. If that can is standing still, how much is that can vibrating or moving? What's the energy level? The energy level is very low, zero. It's not moving, it's standing still. That's why the mud is stuck on it, i.e. what you don't want in your life. When that can begins to vibrate and it begins to shake and move, what happens? 
Well, the energy of the can is increasing. That's why it's vibrating. What happens to the mud? It starts to fall off. I.e., what you don't want in your life starts to fall away. People, places, things, opportunities, being broke, all that stuff that you don't want. <clears throat> when you begin to really vibrate high and that can's going like super fast, like, ah, I can't even do it with my hands. How much dirt and mud is caked on? None, because the energy is going so high, all that crap can't even hold on to it because it's vibrating at a high frequency. You are the freaking Coke can. So if you're having what you don't want in your life, you're in a very low energetic state, all that crap you don't want is stuck onto you. So this is again an incentive in understanding why we want to shift into higher vibrational states and get into a high energy place because none of that crap can stick onto you. Everything and everyone that's not serving you and not for your life will fall away, i.e. the mud on the outside of the can. 111 as I look at the clock. Synchronicity, bing, bing, bing. So beautiful, huh? That's kind of how it works. A uh, little lesson on energy, on quantum mechanics, on how we shift our vibration. This is why we want to do it. How do we shift our vibration to? Meditation. Get off social media. Go outside. Get in nature. Get in the water. Take a Epsom salt bath. Listen to high vibrational music. Um, whatever that is to you. Uh, rap, not very high vibe, dude. They're just talking about like killing people and rap and money and like ego crap. I mean, if that's what you want and that gets you in a better mood, maybe that's where you're at in the emotional scale and listening to some rap would make you feel good. Then do that because we're just trying to bump us up little by little, right? Um, do this over time, but go outside, get in nature and meditate, right? Uh, if, if going to a therapist is going to help, go to a therapist, do something that's going to help you feel better. As long as you're not hurting anybody or anything, the environment, animals like that, do whatever the hell you want in order to feel better. What I would caution against that is be aware of temporary states of pleasure that are temporarily raising your vibration in an artificial way, i.e. drugs and alcohol uh, or porn or you know stuff like that, right? Uh, gambling, that's not high vibrational activities. Those are um, band-aids to the underlying fix. So I would su uh, suggest against that. Um, the quote I'll leave with you with today is N Nikola Tesla. He says, if you want to figure out the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, vibration, and frequency. So Nikola Tesla, of course, absolute true genius up there with Einstein and many other of the great minds of humanity that have been and bless us on the earth. Excuse me. Woo! Vibrate high, my friends. Raise that energy level. Understand the emotional scale. This is also what's called emotional intelligence. Being able to filter and understand and be aware of your feelings, thoughts, and emotions and how they affect your overall well-being and what you're creating in your life. And being able to, again, this is alchemy transmute that negative energy into a positive energy so anything you're feeling via our video yesterday that you don't want is a gift because it's showing you what you do want by having you experience what you don't want that's the i don't think it's a law but i'm going to call it the law of contrast but that's what contrast is so vibrate high my friends vibrate high improve your energy improve your frequency high vibrational foods meditate nature get rid of toxic people cut them off you don't know anything Quit talking to those people, man. Seriously, it's not that hard. Like, and if you feel that you can't let go of people and stuff, well, you have some trauma bonds. You got some abandonment wounds. You got some codependency stuff going on that you get to heal. That's what I got for you today, guys. Love you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.